Right, so I have taken the the crown cap off the airbrush. I'm running at roughly about 15 psi, and uh, we'll just do a quick test spray. Yep, we've got a lovely paint flow coming through. So, same as before, when I go in here, and we want to get the paint flow in, and we're going to get the marble effect on the go. And you just want to be random. More random the better. Reasonably tight patterns. Follow the panel lines. Individual panels you mark out. I've turned the pressure up slightly just to get better at my atomization atomization of the paint. So So, you can see roughly what I'm looking to achieve with this first marble coat. Um, I'm going to carry on, we'll get the whole underside done, and when we've got to that point, we'll come back and look at getting the next layer of paint down. So we're back, and we've got the first marble coat down on the lower fuselage, and wings and tail planes, so I'm really quite happy with that. Um, I do need to do the bottom half of the drop tank, so I'll do that after. But the next job to do really now is to lay on the actual colour coat over the marbling coat. And you should be able to start to see that coat going down. and the variation of tonal tone coming through to give that very weathered finish. Now these aircraft in the Pacific flew thousands of miles over the ocean and uh, landed on some pretty harsh dirt airstrips or hastily built airstrips. So they would be quite dirty aircraft. Now you can see, I think if you can catch the shine, that that's gone quite wet so we've probably reached the point of no return for overpainting that we need just to step back and take a different panel because you don't want to flood the area because you'll lose the effect and it takes ages for the paint to dry so as I said this was pre-thinned it's probably about 60% thin is 40% paint Just gonna move this a bit. We'll try and get the engine site and the cells done. And that's a set of paint. Right, I'm gonna refill the airbrush and then I'll complete painting the under the side of the model as we started on this wing here. And we'll come back once I've got it all done. So, 
that is the white undersides all painted. I'll be careful how I grip this because obviously the paint is still very, very tacky, being very thin. I think you can see we have got beautiful tonal variation. The marbling showing through nicely. And when we get a wash and some oil colours on this, it's going to look fantastic. Now, not to worry about the overspray in the bays. That's going to be very easy to mask off and touch back in with the paint. And to be fair, it'll help just break it up a little bit. Um, we've got the both sets of wheel well doors painted. And I've also painted the bomb bays. I don't know if you can see that, but there has been some contamination on these fellas. And I've got this sort of spotting so what i'm probably going to end up doing is just quickly flatten this back once they've cured up tomorrow and we'll give it another touch up with some more insignia white but as it is for now we're going to leave this just dry and not touch it for 12 hours let the paint cure up and then we'll look at demarcation lines and any touch-up works we need to do so see you later on right I have moved the camera up a little, and that's primarily so I can get a bit of space to manoeuvre underneath the camera. So, um, if we look at the instructions, we can see that we've got the vertical tail fins to paint. And then we've got this band going down the center of the aircraft. Pretty much follows pan line along the spine. And then it follows pretty much nearly pan lines along the bottom. So we're going to try and freehand it. And if needed, I'll always go back in and blow in. But I think we'll manage freehand. So 0.2 needles. So we should be able to get a nice fine line. I'm going to remove the crown cap. So we've got an unobstructed view of the end of the needle. Give it a test spray. You see, you get a nice, very tight line. That well thinned paint. So this is the, the interesting bit where we need to pick our line and go from it. So starting at the wing root. And we want to angle the brush that's blowing up into the panel away from the white. Follow that line up. And we want to work it in. The main thing with this is to get somewhere comfortable to hold the kit. You want to be rest, resting on the table, like so, and holding the kit like so, so it's steady as a rock. And that will alleviate any wavy, wobbly lines. There we go, once we get it established, then again we're going to do that marbling effect, pull on the panel lines, and you can see this blue is covering really really nicely over this um, German grey primer. see roughly where the line is it wants to follow. You want to go slightly over that line, 
So when we come to laying down the dark sea blue, it will blend away the join. Now, there we go. You see we're starting to get a really nice line. Now, if we want to get a slightly tighter line, without going to the trouble of masking, what you need to get is some post-it notes. Absolutely love these things. So, low tack, so they won't strip your paint, but beautiful, beautiful straight edge. So if we want to put an edge in, so say for example we want to paint there, we want to get a nice sharp edge. Just stick the post-it note down. Like so. And then just spray along the edge. Like so. And there you go. Absolutely beautiful line. And again, we want to just Tidy up that edge. There you go. And we want to blend in that corner there. Tight in and run it along. And that's one way of doing it. Now, you're always going to get overspray when you do it freehand. something difficult to get you away from but we can come back in and we'll blow it back in with white and it should cover okay so it shouldn't be too heavy on the overspray so you can see there is the line we want so we'll just draw that line in with the airbrush and then when you've already done the pre-shade just go back in and blow in Filling in any gaps, a nice light coat. There we go. And that's how we're going to do it. Engine the cells, similar process. Already put the demarcation line in from when we painted them, the white. So you want to go above it and work your way down at the wing and then down and around. One continuous movement. And then always refer to the instructions, it's quite high up. Line roughly about there. It looks like it actually goes back over the wing a little bit. Sorry of the engine the cell to here. And then I'm going to fill that in. Make sure you spray the front. There we go. So that's how we're going to do it over the whole model. Same with the vertical tail fins. So we've got the vertical tail fins, the rest of the fuselage has to paint, engine the cells and the front fuselage. And that'll be the, the medium blue painted. And then we can think about coming back in with a touch of white maybe to touch in to repair what's where overspray's been. So I'm going to get on and finish painting the medium blue. Um, and then we'll move on to the next colour.